All right, let's get started. Uh, firstly, oh, whew, it's a little brutal of a morning. Um, it is 7.21 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ah, uh, my body is not like a 20-year-old anymore. Um, turning 36 in June, a um, couple months. Uh, I, I don't even drink liquor anymore, but whenever I have a couple glasses of wine, a few beers, and uh, I go ahead and uh, pat the lip of uh, some uh, Cope Long Cut, I definitely get like a two to three day hangover. Oh, hopefully everyone had a great Easter. If you did not celebrate Easter, whatever you did, hopefully you had a wonder, wonderful weekend, a uh, wonderful time with uh, family, friends, um, or whoever you, you may um, enjoy yourself with. Um, we got some good data Friday when the market was closed for Good Friday. Um, PCE, PCE data came in um, as expected. So the, the overall broader market right now is actually in a rally mode, um, which is significantly good in our case, especially if Mullen is going to be moving with the broader market, especially if they did not get any news whatsoever. Um, we're going to be doing some more morning updates on Mullen, and then we're going to be going over some um, things that could happen today. Um, potentially could not. Um, I just saw that I, I ended up, uh, I, it was, <laughs> I, like, like I said in the previous couple videos of mine, I really don't know where th this is going with making these videos. I am just a small fish in a big pond that's been, um, annihilated by Mullen. And, um, I've got my ass kicked. I don't know a single person that has invested in Mullen traded mullen uh day traded mullen traded as swing trading mullen has has been in the green um i was in a day trading academy last year and one of the head analysts the a, a, a seven figure trader actually did short mullen stock i'm not talking about buying puts i'm talking about taking a short position um and he said that Mullen was the easiest short position he had ever taken in his life. Um, I've been, I've been day trading, swing trading, like le legitimately day trading, swing trading about, about a little over, little over a year now, um, year and some change. Um, next year, one of my goals is to actually get more proficient and because when it's but by the way i'm 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 not a financial advisor whatsoever um like I, i'm just personally a young trader uh it's very very young trader still there's some areas that um i am proficient in and there's some areas that i'm not proficient in um i would like to get more proficient in areas that i'm currently in and the areas that i'm not proficient in at all um, I would like to learn a little bit and build over time. And one of that area is definitely uh, actually shorting stocks. Um, there's a lot of hate right now on Mullen, um, especially on Reddit, especially on X and whatever. But if any of you all ever, because I, I remember seeing a lot of hate, especially last year. And so many people were like, hey, I'm going to short the hell out of Mullen, you know, et cetera, et cetera. If anyone is on uh robin hood first of all you cannot take a short position on robin hood um if you're on weeble you can take a short position i'm not sure about fidelity i'm not sure about e-trade maybe on e-trade um but the, but the point that i'm saying is that the only people that have made mo money on mullen from what i've seen is anyone that has taken a short position i i was heavily invested in mullen like legitimately invested in Mullen from March of 22 up until May of 2000. I, I, I actually got a The next video I make, I'll, I'll find some screenshots because I, I do have one of the 700% run that Mullen went on in March of 2022. It would be awesome if Mullen went on another 700% run. Um, But I ended up uh, 
selling for a huge loss in May of 2023, right after the first RS. And I, I've just been day trading, swing trading Mullen since. But it sucks because whenever I day trade Mullen, I make money. Whenever I swing trade Mullen, it's 50-50. Like, I, I, I currently have no Mullen shares right now because I got stomped out of a fucking position a little over a week ago. And it sucks because I I would love to make my money back with Mullen. I, I, I am praying that I just break even on this stock. I'm, pr I'm praying... I'm not praying to make a profit from Mullen. I am praying to just break even on this stock. And if I had to make a prayer for anyone out there, I, 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 would, I would pray for that. Let's all just get our money back from the stock and move the fuck on. Um, however, I'm making these videos because I really do believe something incredible can happen. And um, I don't really mean to go on a, a rant or a tangent. Um, and I, I'll, go, I, I'll go ahead and show you um, or show anyone why I think something incredible can very well happen. Okay, so firstly, there's been no new SEC filings since... March 13th, um, that's not bullish and that's also not bearish. That's, um, that, that's, that's neutral. Um, all last year we would get these SEC filings on a Friday afternoon from David Mitchery, the CEO of Mullen, and, um, it would be negative. Um, so the fact that we have not gotten any news in over two weeks now, the last news we got was, uh, the 14th of March, so you're talking, holy shit, man, one, two, three, uh, three weeks, uh, 22, uh, well, it, it, if we're, if we're counting trading, ah, no, nah, let's, let's count the actual day, so 22, 23, 24, today's, if we don't get news today, it'll be the 25th day, we have not gotten any news from Mullen, that is, that's crazy, Mullen does not go this long without typically dropping news, so something it, it, it can go one or two ways. Um, and we'll talk more about this in this video, and I'll give my insight about it. Um, so no SEC filings. It's not. I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, some people may say, "Oh, well, a company doesn't have it." It's not true. Um, SEC filings for a company. Um, you can look up multiple companies. A lot of companies run with no new SEC filings at all. Especially, you know, an 8K. A lot of these 8Ks are just for the news that Mullen has been posting, which Mullen is doing the right thing. They, they drop news. They file an 8K. That's good. That means that they're trying to do things to NASDAQ standard, which is very good for a investor's point of view. Um, let's move over to Benzinga. David Mitchery has not purchased any new shares. Uh, that's not a surprise. Uh, what else do I want to show? Let's see. Mullen stock. I just literally typed this in on Google. Um, I haven't done this in a while. So a lot of these news articles are bullshit. Because a lot of these articles go off the news that Mullen ends up dropping. But the fact that the Mullen surges will the bounce last. Yeah, I, I mean, it, this is... The, these places, I would not rely on them i used to read all these articles back in 2022 and honestly all this shit from investor place is just nonsense it's just bullshit a lot of these people are flip-floppers and a lot of them get paid to write a lot of these articles so be very cautious when you read stuff like this extremely cautious um mullen outstanding shares according to google and other sources are still the same bullish bullish low float bullish no dilute and I, I i personally do not believe dilution is happening extremely bullish extremely bullish one of the reasons why i really think something incredible is going to happen um so we did this let's look at their lawsuit lawsuit update one this is the spoofing case uh extension we already went over this um so there's no new update on this this one is something that i've been following oh wow holy shit okay hang on one second this is actually new um 
Okay. Once. So, Mullen had to meet with this lawsuit back on the 21st to see if this case was going to be dismissed. Um, so, motion, mo letter, motion to seal address to judge while well, it's dated 29 regarding issues during conference, file, da 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 da, select the parties. Issues raised, conference. I, 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 I am not a lawyer <laughs> whatsoever, so a, a lot of this really is uh, a, a little new to me. Uh, motion sealed. Supplement brief. Um, I want to go ahead and turn off. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to stop recording because I, I, I got to look something up really quickly. Okay, I had to actually make a phone call really quick and uh, get, get a little more insight. So, firstly, um, I don't have a... It, it's, I, I, I am not... Maybe I should make a 14-day free... It's, I, I, I would not recommend paying $49 to have this account um, open. I, I think there's other people on X that, that we can take a look at, but... Um, so apparently this case did not get dropped and this case is actually still going on, which is, which is fucking bullish. Um, a lot of people thought that March 21st, this case was going to be dropped because it was an illegitimate case. And, uh, Mark R, uh, I, I, I I'm going to butcher his name, Bazile. It's, uh, hopefully he's not watching this video. Um, <laughs> um, so apparently this case is still happening. Um, and we'll go over to X momentarily, but yeah, I mean, it's that, that's good. This case is moving along. Um, a lot of people thought this case was going to be dropped, but this case is moving along, which is extremely good for us. Uh, maybe we'll get a lawsuit update too. Um, let's go over to bar chart. You can type in M-U-L-N. The only thing I really want to show you guys for bar chart is, um, the pivot levels. Pivot levels are really good, especially for day trading Mullen, um, or even swing trading. Pivot levels are basically previous uh, highs and lows on a stock and their averages. As you see, because we went up by 27, 28%, obviously the pivot levels today are extremely wider um, and bigger. So the low is really low and the high is really high. Um, but if we get above the third resistance pivot level, then we can be cruising along today which is um, hopefully what can uh, potentially happen. Um, let me go over on X really quickly and, and double check um, something. See if, see if he has posted anything. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so here it is. Uh, where are you? Okay, Mark R. So he's handling one of the lawsuits from Mullen. Um, he's posted stupid things before, but it looks like he's. I I, I don't know if this. Hey, hang on. So trouble. It is pulled hundreds. Okay, he's he's talking. So apparently this guy is involved in multiple different stuff. But then again, he tags a lot of other stuff as well. I just, wanted, I just wanted to do a quick update very quickly. See see if we see anything at all. No, from Mullen. I honestly thought I already... Mullen, anyone stay tuned. December 3rd. What the, the, what, why the hell is he sharing stuff back in... This is very long. Or actually, this is... Okay, yeah, so he, he really has not been posted anything too much. Um... This guy here, uh, Ernest uh, Ham, uh, Ham, Hamilton, uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, he actually posted a new video about, so he doesn't, he his videos are very in, in, in form, like, it's, it, he makes videos not about, like, charts and stuff on Mullen, but his videos does have a lot of really good info, um, I have seen a, a lot of his stuff, and hopefully anyone watching my videos are watching his too. He's been actually posting a lot of stuff regarding Mo uh, Mullen's lawsuit. I actually found the links from Mullen's lawsuit from him. Um, 
Not sure if he actually posted anything related about a lawsuit just yet, but I'll be looking throughout the day. Otherwise, this update kind of really caught me off guard. Let me uh, let me do one more thing very quickly. I just want to double check to make sure there's no lawsuit update on his actual channel. Okay, well, kick me in my balls. Um, three hours ago, th was this dude up at like 4 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> okay, I have not watched this video just yet. Um, uh, but uh, it's, I, I did watch this video. Um, I can't remember which videos of these had some evaluation of Mullen. I, I, I gotta go and, and track it down, but... Um, I have not watched this video yet. Obviously, this video is going to be filled with a lot of, uh, probably really good information here. Right, get the hell away, advertisements. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go more. Uh, has two street legal vehicles. Da -da -da. Pull in, dice. Yes, yeah, so this lawsuit, maybe we'll get a lawsuit update for today. Hopefully we do. Um, yeah, this, it, he, he does actually a very, very well job, actually, with, um, providing information on Mullen's, like, lawsuit and stuff. Okay, this video has been long enough. Let's go over to the charts now, because I, I am a very, I, I am, I am a TA, uh, technical analysis guy. So let's, let's go over to the charts right now and see what's going on with Mullen. Um, ran... Very high on the previous day, Thursday, 20, uh, peaked at like 28%. So today, um, for the pre-market, uh, it looks like we ended up opening at 5.11. We ended up peaking, I believe that's a wick. We ended up wicking right above the 35 mil market cap at 5.35. I would not be surprised if we test 5.35 again, which means we go back to 5.35. And this is how technical analysis works. Um, we're probably going to get to 535 today, and depending if Mullen drops news or not, we're either going to sell off or we're going to hold gains. I am praying for the best because I would like to get back in, in, <laughs> yeah, I ended up selling, um, half of my position that I had, which was my average was around $7. So this is definitely, and ironically, Mullen ended up fucking it's I, this was actually a fibonacci level um we ended up hitting a high on the day legitimately at a fibonacci level which is what i sold half of my position for <laughs> um i do do a lot of trading off fibonacci levels because fibonacci levels work um they're not some voodoo type stuff they legitimately work so as you see the pivot levels are very spread out. Do I think we're gonna hit a, a S3? I, I don't believe we're gonna hit an S3. I'd be shocked if we hit an S2. Um, could we go down to the S1 if we do not get news? Yeah, we could sell off all the way down to the S1. The all-time low is not a support. It's a psychological level. Um, but the S2 is more of a better support than the all-time low. I am praying that we do not sell break down to the s1 but then again i i mean mullen I, i've used reverse psychology on mullen i've been wrong so i really don't know um to be perfectly honest um it would be nice if we actually run up to the r1 and we get above the r1 and if it's what, what i would love for today and this is what would make me um actually buy shares of mullen um, not financial advice to anyone. Um, I would want to see news be dropped on Mullen. And I want to, I, I, I want to see us on today basically do something like this. Trade within this range of the R1 and R2. Get above the R1, get above the... Right now, we have been below the 35 mil market cap for... I believe almost 10 days and all we got to do is get above the 35 mil market cap for one day and short sellers know this institutions know this 
That's all we knew, need is one day to cancel it out. Um, so, if we get above this R1 and we use the R1 as support, because what was resistance now becomes support, if we close above the R1, the R1 is now support, we cancel out the 35 mil market cap, and that is awesome. That is puts Mullen in a better position. Now, let's look at the daily time frame. Um, RSI is still pointed up. Good. Bullish. RSI is 42. Extremely oversold still. Um, I mean, if you go ahead and zoom out on the weekly time frame, Mullen is just absolutely decimated. Um, so, it really, it's RSI it doesn't even matter. But what matters in my previous video, like I said, is that it's the Keltner channel. Business Dad made uh, a video on this, and I agree that it has to do with the Keltner channel. As you see, right now, we basically pretty much broke above the bottom band on the Keltner channel, and we pretty much, we wick. Um, if any of you people don't know what a candlestick is, the big body of the candlestick is the candlestick. We ended up opening uh, at 440, and we closed on the day at 520 but we wick these these long wicks we wick which means the high on the day was 559 and that was above the actual keltner channel band the, the middle the middle line right here on the keltner channel is the keltner channel and then you have the the upper band the lower band kind of like in the vwap um volume weighted average price uh the vwap you have the bollinger bands but in my previous video and also business dad's previous video for anyone who doesn't know how to read charts whenever you have a stock that sways away from the keltner channel it has to bounce back it's just it's how the charts work Ooh, voodoo it's not voodoo it's how the charts work but if we go back in time we see this whenever we break the bottom band we bounce back but if you look back in history, we tend to then trade sideways. Now, if we go even further back in history, anytime that we end up breaking the band, we get a big green day, and then we end up either wicking or touching the Keltner channel, then we end up selling off. Um, but Mullen runs on news. So if we get good news, we can we have the room and this is what i'm saying i do believe something very well credible could happen but we need the news we need the news um until we get the news then it's just playing games here it really is we need the news um actually i i don't know if i actually maybe i did maybe hang on one second i don't think i showed this okay uh, stock titan let's do an update yeah mullen has not dropped any new news yet uh okay that's good just wanted to make sure i'm not missing anything so we, we we need news that's that's what we need more than anything if i if i were to go ahead and take off the keltner channel and add back the emas the nine ema exponential moving average uh 48 200 um Mullen is still below the 200, of course. Uh, where, where the hell is the 200? Holy, holy nuts. Uh, do I have the 200 on? Oh, wow. Yeah, the 200 EMA is 17. Yeah, we, it's okay. That's not even, that is not even realistical. Um, <laughs> um, however, if we can get above the 9 EMA, we would be in better shape. Because as you see, ever since we fell off this, this bottom that we've been consolidating on, we've just been below all the EMAs. Because um, we created this bottom at January. Uh, January 24th, January 25th, we started a bottom. And we've basically been hovering over the EMAs. And, and then we got above the 9 EMA. And then we traded below and then we just fell off. But these EMAs are like magnets. When you go too far down, 
you got it you got to bounce back the, the, the emas are magnets um use these exponential moving averages as magnets we broke down and then we got to bounce back there because if you if you bounce too far down you're gonna have to trend back and vice versa if you go too far up you got to come back down um so I don't know what's going to end up happening today. I'm praying for a lawsuit update. I'm praying for production news. I'm praying for something. If we collect revenue, this stock has every single thing it needs to short to squeeze. I don't know if it's going to do. I don't. I, I, I don't know what. But I mean, there's stocks that run hundreds of percents. Can Mullen run um, ten thousand percent in one day? That is very unrealistical. To be perfectly honest, I'm sorry. I don't mean to break anyone's heart, but a very more realistic thing: Can Mullen run another twenty to thirty percent today on good news? Fuck yeah, absolutely. Can they run maybe sixty to ninety percent? Absolutely. Can they run a couple hundred percent with the right news? Yes. It needs news, so I'm praying something happens. If Mullen drops news. I'll go ahead and, and, and uh, make another video. Otherwise, Mullen tends to sell off if we do not get news. And I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but it happens. Um, I believe we got news on the 16th of February. Then we sold off the next day because we didn't get any more good news. Holding gains on Mullen is hard. Um, let's see what happens today. Hopefully, it's a positive day. And let's all make money. Um... Because at the end of the day, retail, we get fucked. So, hopefully we can just get breaking even on this stock. Um, yeah, anyone out there who's subscribed to me, um, commenting, uh, appreciate it. And uh, let's, let's see what happens.